Good evening folks, so this evening's uh, tutorial is in relation to a hyperbola and how to draw that using the eccentricity method. As you see here, back to my T4 worksheet's conic sections, worksheet number 3. Um, as I said, relating to our hyperbola using the eccentricity method. Just talk you through that first and you're just going to read the question. So when a plane goes faster than the speed of sound, sonic boom shockwave occurs. So here you have your plane and the sonic boom shockwave. Cone shaped wave shoots out the back of the plane as shown in the photo over and intersects the ground in part of a hyperbola. Okay so you can see here where that sonic boom intersects the ground forming the shape of a hyperbola here. It hits every point of the curve at the same time so that people in different places along the curve on the ground hear it at the same time. The line DD represents the directrix of the hyperbola and V is the vertex, you can see V here of the curve. Uh, it also tells us the eccentricity is 1.25. So one thing with your hyperbolas in relation to um, conic sections of eccentricity of four, sorry, the hyperbola is always greater than one. So that means the line of eccentricity when it comes out from your, your intersection here of the directrix and the axis, it's always going to be um, of an angle of more than 45 degrees. All right, so moving on to that, I'm just going to, you're going to ask then in the question, sorry, to locate the focal point of the hyperbola and draw a portion of the curve. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is to um, locate the focal point and draw that line of eccentricity. So to get my line of eccentricity, that's the line going off at an angle here, we refer back to the uh, ratio we're given here. So we're told the eccentricity is 1.25. So what that means basically is you have your directrix here, your line D, D, your axis coming out here, along this way. Okay, we have our vertex here, which is your V. So the line of eccentricity comes up at an angle which is greater than 1. So we're given the ratio of 1.25. So that means for every unit I come out along the axis, we must come up uh, 1.25 of the same unit. All right. So in this case here, I'm going to come out 1 centimeter there. Draw my vertical line and I'm going to come up this in the 1.25. So you see it here, 1.25 centimeters. That's in up there. What that gives me is a point on the line of eccentricity. So you come from your intersection here of the directrix and the axis through that point, and that line there gives me the line of eccentricity. Okay, so I'll just write that in there. That's that bit done. Next thing we want to do is to locate the focal point. So in this situation or in this scenario, we are given the vertex. All right, I have the vertex here. So what we do in this case with the vertex, we draw a line up perpendicular to our axis. Okay, so that must be perpendicular there. Um, you come down from where that point hits your line of eccentricity, you come down at 45 degrees to your axis. Now where this line then hits your axis, that's going to give you your focal point. So that there is your focal point. Once you locate your focal point, you can draw your vertical line. In this case, a line perpendicular, if you like, to the axis. And this then is known as your focal line. Okay, so that's your focal line now in place. So at this case, this stage, just to go back over that, from your vertex, we drew a line up perpendicular from the axis until it hits the line of eccentricity. Then we projected that back down at an angle of 45 degrees there to your axis. And where that hits the axis, that gives our focal point 
and then we draw our focal line. The next step we want to do is to draw a few more lines parallel, if you like, to the focal line at regular intervals. I'm going to draw those in, I'm going to space them out at 10 millimeter intervals. So I've drawn a series of lines here at 10 millimeter intervals in this case, as long as they're equal intervals, projected them up until they hit my line of eccentricity. So once you have this part done, now in order to plot your points for the curve, you bring those points where they hit the line of eccentricity across to the focal line, so across horizontally until each of those hits the focal line. So again this method is the exact same for our parabola eccentricity method. The only difference is that the line of eccentricity is at a different angle. Okay. Once you project those back onto the focal line where they hit the line of eccentricity across to your focal line, you get your compass then from your focal point Okay, using the focal point as the center point, you set your radius to where that line was projected across, as you see it there. Swing your arc back out until it hits the line that it was initially projected up from. You can see it till it hits the line it was initially projected up from. Same thing with each of those points until you have a series of them plotted in order to draw your hyperbola. here you can see I had to go to the other side of the focus so same thing here in this case you're swinging the arc in the opposite direction so remember it's from where it hits the focal back on to the line that was projected up in this case and likewise here That then gives you a series of points that your hyperbola is pass through. And of course it comes down through your vertex as you see it here. And again, once you have this part complete, basically all you need to do is project your points down along the relevant construction line here, the same distance either side of the transverse axis and that then is your hyperbola complete. There you go, you've been asked to locate the focal point which we have here of the hyperbola and draw a portion of the curve. So this here we have a portion of the curve. Just to go back over that, First thing we did in this case was we um, located and constructed the line of eccentricity. So for that, remember, we come out with the given ratio. We came out one unit and up to 1.25 as we're given here and draw our line of eccentricity through that. We then projected the line straight up from our vertex until it hit the line of eccentricity and back down at an angle of 45 degrees to the axis here in order to locate our focus that gave us a point where we draw our focus line and remember where that focus line comes up and intersects the line of eccentricity that also gives you a point on the curve then set our regular intervals either side of that projected them across horizontally up here from where they hit the line of eccentricity and we rotate them back down using a focal point as our center point. So rotate them back down to the line that has been projected up. And just to keep an eye out, the only difference here is when you cross over your focal line, 
you're swinging the axe in a different direction here as you see it there I yeah, hope you found that helpful and again as always you'll see more of my videos on www.advanced8.weebly.com Thank you